go. Hello, everybody. Oh, and Schuldigung. Auf Deutsch. Ich sollte auf Deutsch mit euch sprechen. Das ist gerne das deutsche Programm. Um, leider heute, ich bin alleine. Der Freddy, er, er war ein bisschen müde und hat gebetet, ob, ob er kann zu Hause bleiben kann. Ich habe gesagt, gerne, wenn man ist müde, sollte, sollte ein bisschen, bisschen entspannen machen. So, heute äh, mache ich das, ich habe eine, ein, vielleicht ist es ein bisschen kürzer heute, weil ich alleine bin, aber ich habe eine Idee, dass wir können was zusammen machen ähm, und wenn jemand schaut, es wäre cool, wenn du kannst uns sagen, wer du bist und wo du bist in den Kommentaren. Ähm, ich bin gerne der Guy Palumbo und das ist Another Mother's Music Time. Ich habe immer noch nie gelernt, das deutsche Text für unsere anfangs deutsches Lied. So, ich singe unsere Englisch Hallo Lied für die, für die uh, Anfang von der Show. Und es geht so. So, jetzt ist es Frohling und da gibt es so viele neue Dinge, das passiert in Frohling. Da gibt es äh, neue Blumen und der Wetter ist geändert und man, man kann ein bisschen genießen, die Sonne. Und da gibt es Blumen über alle. Es ist, es ist eine sehr schöne Zeit in der Welt. Und es ist für mich eine sehr inspirierende Zeit. Ähm, ich immer habe neue Idee und, und neue, neue Ziele, was ich würde erfüllen. Und heute, ich werde ein bisschen quatschen über wie man schreibt ein Lied. So, wie schreibt man ein Lied? Hm, das ist eine gute Frage. Da gibt es viele verschiedene Wege, dass man kann ein Lied schreiben und die, die End, es hängt an was gefällt der Liedermacher und auch was gefällt der Zuhörer. So, heute ich hatte eine Idee, ich hatte eine Melodie und es geht, es ist, es ist in meinem Kopf und es geht la 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 und hm, nein la, 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 la. Hm. La, 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 la. das ist ein melodie ein melodie ähm, ich schrei ich schrei das ähm, oder ich, falls ich kann das auf Deutsch schreiben. Hahaha, ha, ha. ich glaube, es ist geschrieben so. Melodie. Vielleicht ist das zu klein. Ich glaube, das ist zu klein, für man zu sehen. Um, oder ich kann auch gerne. Moment. Sorry, wie ich habe gesagt, ich bin allein. So alles das technische Sache muss ich. Uh, das ist ein bisschen mehr kompliziert zu schaffen. So. Eine Melodie ist etwas, das man kann singen oder summen. So, so wenn wir haben Melodie in diesem Fall, es ist na, 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 na. oder man kann so machen. Okay, so habe ich das Melodie. Und ich kann mit das ein bisschen spielen. Vielleicht wir nutzen das später. Wir gerne nutzen das später. Und aber man kann nicht nur mit einer Melodie ein, 
ein Lied machen, oder? Man braucht sicherlich mehr für das Lied. So, was sollten wir dazu bringen für unser Lied? Ähm, was verschiedene Elemente haben wir für ein Lied? Normalerweise, wenn Freddy ist da, ähm, er kann ein bisschen Bass bringen, aber er ist nicht da. Ich muss, ich muss ein bisschen kreativ sein. Uh, so ich kann ich kann das gut gut uh, was gut machen aber schau mal wir gehen so sorry ich habe ein es geht so und jetzt sehe ich besser okay so wir haben unsere Melodie und dann brauchen wir noch was was sollen wir noch machen hm. so <lacht> Sein sehr gut, ey. Hm. Da, oh, uh, danke, Ali. I need to play exit display. <laughs> Ali, weiß ich nicht, was ich kann machen. Der Display Button sollte ich das auf der Taste machen oder auf uh, der Fernbedienung. Nein, ist immer noch nicht da. Weiß ich nicht, ob ich kann das schaffen, Olli. Moment, der Olli hat mir gerade erzählt. Oh, Olli, ja, schaffe ich das nicht, leider. Display Button. Nein. Sorry, Olli, muss ich irgendwie... <lacht> Ali, I gotta live with it. I don't know what to do. Uh, I'll call you on the break. So, ich habe die Melodie und dann ich bringe ein Akkorde dazu. Ich finde, das passt schon zu unserer Melodie. Schau mal. Ich denke, das passt, oder? So, wir haben zwei Akkorde. Hm. Okay, so, wir haben eine Melodie. Und wir haben eine Akkorde. Was können wir machen? das Akkorde, so das ist ein bisschen mehr interessant. Hm. Das finde ich langweilig. Und die Plektrum auch nervt mich ein bisschen. So ich spiele ohne Plektrum. Hm. Okay. Es gibt das ein bisschen Rhythmus. So, wir haben unsere Code und unseren Rhythmus mit der, mit der Melodie. Okay, aber, aber was fällt? Da gibt es was noch, das fällt. Und weiß nicht, was, was können wir machen? Ah! Können wir ein bisschen Trommel da. So. Okay. So, 
So haben wir drei verschiedene Teile für unser Lied. Wir haben unsere Melodie und wir haben unsere Akkorde und in diesem Fall wir nutzen wir nutzen G und C Dur Akkord Akkorde und wir haben ein bisschen Rhythmus. Wir haben Rhythmus. Und ich bin alleine, so ich muss Rhythmus auf mein Gitarre spielen. So, hm. So, mit meiner Gitarre, ich kann ein bisschen kreativ sein. Wenn du bist zu Hause und du willst dazu ein Rhythm machen, du kannst das Bassdrum mit deinem Fuß machen und das Snare Drum mit dein, mit, bei Klatschen. So gehen wir Das ist was du kannst machen. Und vielleicht du hast zwei Personen dabei. Du kennst eine Person, das mag so. Und eine andere Person, das spielt oder zoomt das Melodie. So, wenn wir gehen aber für mich, ich gehe so. Ich bin nicht so genau wie ein paar von meinen Freunden. Okay, so haben wir diese drei verschiedenen Elemente von dem Lied. Wir haben eine Melodie, wir haben Akkorde und wir haben... Rhythmus. So, mit diesen drei Elementen, wir können anfangen mit unserem Lied. Das ist wie, das ist wie ein, ein Raupe, das geht zu das Kokon. Ja, wir gehen ins das Kokon. Weil jetzt ist es nur in einem Kreis. Ja? Und das nach ein bisschen Zeit kann ein bisschen langweilig, oder? Langweilen. Was können wir dazu bringen? Vielleicht ein verschiedener Rhythmus, können wir gerne machen, aber ich denke, wir sollten ein paar andere Akkorde machen. Und wir haben diskutiert, ein bisschen was geht für ein Lied in, bei die Ukulele. Ja, wir spielen das erste, das vierte und das fünfte Teil. das Ukulele gespielt. So jetzt, wir machen the first, das erste Akkorde und wir machen das vierte Akkorde und ich denke, wir können das D dazu bringen. So, so. Akkorde da gemacht. Wir haben das D und auch das A Moll. Am Sonntag haben wir gesprochen wegen dem Unterschied zwischen Dur und Moll. So haben wir jetzt. Oh, warte, was ist jetzt hier los? Sorry, das, uh, mein ich habe ein paar technische Probleme momentan. Ich suche das zu lösen. Um, Uh, so, Entschuldigung, falls es ist nicht so, uh, wie sag mal, uh, uh, um, flüssig heute, <lacht> this, this episode. Aber wir haben unsere Melodie, wir haben unsere erste Teil, das the G und das C. Und jetzt wir bringen das D zu C. D, C, ein A und wieder da. 
okay. So jetzt müssen wir das organisieren. So, wenn ich organisiere ein Lied, ich nenne die Teil zum Beispiel ein A-Teil und ein B-Teil. In diesem Fall, da haben die A-Teil, wir spielen das G und das C. Und dann wieder das G und wieder das C. Und wir wiederholen das. Okay? Wir wiederholen das. Und der Freddy, normalerweise, äh, Freddy macht alles das musikertechnische Sache, aber ich glaube, das wiederholen Symbol ist so. Aber für das B-Teil, wir gehen C, oh, Entschuldigung, D, C, D, C, nochmal D, C und dann D, A, Moll. Okay, so jetzt, wir haben unser Lied ein bisschen organisiert. Wir haben ein A-Teil und wir haben ein B-Teil. So, spielen wir das alle zusammen. Ich fange an mit meiner Melodie. Ah. Und jetzt haben wir ein Idee für ein Lied. Wir haben das Melodie. Wir haben das Rhythmus, wir haben Akkorde gewählt und wir haben das in zwei Teilen organisiert. So, falls du hast es gesehen und du willst mir helfen, das Lied zu fertig machen, schreib mir in die Kommentare oder per Direct Messages mit vielleicht Texte oder andere Rhythmus Ideen wir können machen oder vielleicht der Freddy kann kommen und etwas machen und können wir das entwickeln. Aber das ist eine Methode, zu schreiben ein Lied. Ich habe Freunde, dass der fangen an mit die Texte. Die Texte ist das erste Teil. Ich habe andere Freunde, dass der fangen an mit dem Rhythmus. Und das ist wo die Inspiration kommt. Und dann andere Leute, ich kenne, der einfach machen die Akkorde. Und das ist wo der anfangen von der Idee für das Lied. So. Wie ich habe gesagt am Anfang, die wichtige Teil ist, dass es gefällt du, ja, und hoffentlich, wenn es gefällt dir, es gefällt anderen Leute auch. Schauen wir mal. So, ich hoffe, heute wird okay für euch. Ähm, morgen, ich auch hoffe, der Freddy ist wieder da und ich bin nicht allein. Schauen wir mal. Aber falls ich bin allein, wir machen was interessant auch. So, schönen Tag, ciao, die englische Show fängt gleich an. Wir sehen uns bald.
Ali, if you're still watching, I think I fixed the um, thing. Please let me know. Um, if you're just coming in, I'm going to start the English program in just a second here. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, Nina and Oliver. Nina and Michael and Fidel and Jenny joined. What's going on, guys? I don't know if you're still there. Nice to see you. Let's see here. Hey, Yulia, how are you? Nice to see you. Okay. There we go. Just got to get myself a new piece of paper here because I'm not happy with the one I just used. So, get some new tape. Casca, Yulia, how are you doing? Did you guys get into some Easter Bunny goodness yesterday? You want to hear what my son did? Well, we woke up in the morning and it was quiet. It was very quiet, which is unusual for my house. My house is not a quiet house. Especially my son when he wakes up in the morning. He is not quiet. He usually doesn't leave us alone. So it's very quiet. And that was nice because I could sleep for a few more minutes. And I got up and I walk in the living room. And I don't see my son anywhere. But then I look and I see a couple of tiny feet under the table. And then I look under the table and I see my boy like this. <sighs> with a chocolate stain around his face. Yes. Yes. He found where we hid the chocolate eggs. And I think he ate 10 of them. 10 of them. So it was a very exciting morning for us at the Palumbo household yesterday morning. I made sure that we put the eggs way, way high up where he couldn't get them today. So I hope everybody else didn't have as exciting of a Monday morning as we did. But boy, oh boy, that child had a lot of energy. Then he slept very, very well. So folks, welcome, welcome. It's nice to see you. I'm so happy you're here. Um, I'm sorry to tell you, Freddie couldn't make it today. He, he was feeling kind of tired and I said, you go ahead and relax, I'll, I'll handle it today. So. Today might be a little bit shorter than we normally do, I, I, but I'll, I'll start the lesson as we usually start, or I'll start the episodes we usually start with our beginning song. And maybe if you know the words, you can sing along at home. So here we go. <laughs> to the show. As I mentioned, Freddie is not here at the moment, but we're still going to do we're going to do an episode today. Now, I'm very inspired by the spring. There are so many cool things that can happen in the spring. Casca, maybe you can ask Yulia or Yulia if you understand me. What what do you notice when we think about changes in the spring? I notice that it gets a lot warmer. It gets a whole lot warmer. And I notice flowers start growing and the sun is shining a little bit more. We have longer days because they change the clocks. And it's just a lot of change happens, especially in the first few weeks of spring. And one of the, hey, Andrew Turner. Oh, Andrea, excuse me. 
Andrea, hello. I, I think I need new glasses. Andrea, Anna, it's so nice to see you guys. Welcome, welcome. I hope, I hope it's not snowing where you are in Quebec. Um, we were just talking about the springtime again and how it's so inspiring. And Anna, I'm so sorry if you're just joining us. Freddie, he was get really sleepy and, and not feeling 100% today, so I told him to relax. So it's just me today. I hope that's okay with you. Um, we're going to be doing a lesson about uh, inspiration again in the spring. And what I want to talk about today is writing a song. And what got me thinking about writing a song is I was thinking about caterpillars and butterflies. The birds are singing in the spring? That's right, Yuli. What else is happening in the spring? What else can we think about? Anna, maybe you can think about some things that happen in the spring. The birds are certainly singing, right? And I was just talking about the caterpillars. Now, what, what do you think about when you think about caterpillars? What's, what does a caterpillar do after a few weeks? Can, can you tell me? Do you know? What does a caterpillar do after a few weeks? Because it changes into something. It ch a caterpillar changes into something, and then it changes into something else, right? So what does a caterpillar do? Anna says the snow is melting and the flowers start to pop. Anna, you're absolutely right. So I think we got a bit of a delay, but I'm gonna I'm gonna wait. <laughs> guys answer about the caterpillars. What do caterpillars change into? Oh, uh, that's right. A caterpillar, well, before the caterpillar becomes a butterfly, it becomes something else. What does it become? What does a caterpillar become? Right between being a caterpillar and a butterfly. There's something in between. It's called Well, if you're having trouble thinking of it, if there's a bit of a delay, it becomes a cocoon, right? On a, actually, it's a cocoon. There you go. You got it. It's a cocoon. So what the caterpillar does, how does it work? You've all seen the book Hungry Hungry Caterpillar. If you've never read the book Hungry Hungry Caterpillar, I highly recommend you ask your library when you can go back to libraries and get it, okay? The caterpillar, it, it hatches out of its egg, right? And it gets really hungry and it just eats, 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 eats. And it gets bigger and it gets bigger and it gets bigger and it gets bigger and then it says I'm ready to sleep for a couple of weeks and it finds itself a nice place a nice place to chill out and it wraps itself inside of its own silk and that silk gets hard and it becomes a cocoon and inside the cocoon the caterpillar begins to change. It changes, it changes, it changes, it changes. And we all know what happens after the caterpillar gets out of the cocoon, after it's done changing. It's a butterfly, right? So we're going to... Hi, Klaus, how you doing? So today, we're going to be talking about having a song. And the caterpillar for the song is the idea. Okay, now there are so many ways to write a song. Andrea, you're a musician. Do you, do you write music? You know, there, I know a lot of musicians and many of them write songs in different ways and their ideas come from different places. Sometimes they, they hear a sound on the street and that gives them an idea for a song. Or sometimes they 
they read a book or they they have a feeling and that's that gives them an idea for a song some people start with musical elements right i know people who start with the rhythm Some people start that way. I know people who start with chords. And they start that way. And I also know people who start with a melody. That's a melody. Now, do we remember what a melody is? I'm gonna try to write this and I'm gonna try to do a better job of writing this than I did in the German show. I didn't do a very good job there. A melody. What is a melody? A melody is the part of the song that you hum, that you can sing. And in this case, the melody goes like this. La, 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 la. Can you do that with me? La 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 I'm playing with the melody there. But the root melody that I'm using is this. La 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 That's our melody. Now, that's where I'm going to start today. I actually don't usually start with a melody. I usually start with words or I, I start with, with uh, playing chords in a certain rhythm. But today we're going to start with a melody. That's our root. Hmm. Okay, so that's our melody. It's a, it's a pretty simple melody, okay? But the song would be kind of boring if we just played that melody over and over again, right? I think I think that would be a really boring song. We need to add some things to it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play around with this melody because I, I I might want to change the melody a little bit, and I want you guys to think: What could I add to it? What should I add next? What should the next element of the tune that I should add be? What do you think, Yulia, Anna? Casca, Andrea, what do you think I should add? What would be a nice compliment to this song? La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Hmm. La, 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 la. Huh. I'm really enjoying this melody. But I don't want to do that all the time. What are we going to add? Hmm. I think maybe we should add some chords. Now, remember on Sunday we talked about chords? Chords, chords are when you play the first, the third, and the fifth, the major chord that we're going to play at the same time. And in this case, I think the chord should be G. And C. Let's see here. So. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. Hey, Taylor, nice to see you. Do a partial chord here. Hmm. Okay, so I have some friends who can play a melody and chords at the same time. I'm not the best at it, but I'm gonna try it on the guitar. Now, a 
again, though, I, I think it might be boring if we just play the melody the entire time. Add some broom broom. What? Anna, I would love to add some broom broom, but what does broom broom mean? Do you want me to get a broom and go and start sweeping? Is that what I should do? Because if you sweep, that's kind of a cool noise. Is that what you mean? Okay. I like that, Anna. Hey, Melanie, how you doing? Okay, so we've got a... We've got our melody. we got some chords. we got a broom. Uh-oh, I missed the melody there. I'm going to sing the melody. Maybe you can sing with me. Okay, Anna, I like your broom idea. I don't know if that was your idea, but that's how I'm interpreting a broom. I'm gonna sweep the top of my guitar. So, so we've added, we had our melody, we've also now added chords. And the chords we've added are G major and C major, okay? And we've added a bit of, of a percussion sound with the brooms. Okay, and we've added our brooms. Okay, that's what I'm gonna call brooms. Now, but I still think we could add a little bit more percussion. What could we do? Boy. Okay. Okay. Let's let's try adding that. So we've added, we've added a bass drum. Well, I'm gonna call that a bass drum. It's clearly my guitar, but we're gonna call that a bass drum. And we'll call that, we'll call that a snare. Okay, I'm gonna call that a snare drum. Okay, so we've got our bass drum, we've got our snare drum, we've got our brooms, We've got our chords, we've got our melody, we've got our melody, but you know, I still think we could do something else to make the song a bit better, right? Because right now, we're just going in a circle, we're going in a circle in G and C. So this is what, Yulia says it's a fine melody, thank you very much Yulia. So, so we're going in a circle. So I think we need to add another part and maybe a couple more chords. So with the ukulele, when we learned to play the ukulele the other day, we gave you three chords to play. We gave you the F, the uh, A flat, and the C, okay? So that is the, if we're looking at this from uh, the number perspective, that's the one, four, five, which is what a lot of music uses. They use those chords in that order. Now we're in G, first and the fourth. I'm going to add a D in there because I think the D is going to 
be very nice. And I'm also going to add an A minor because I think it's going to change. Remember how we talked on Sunday about how music can make you feel things and sound can make you feel things and major chords are happy and minor chords, they're a little bit melancholy, a little bit sad. But in this case, I think we can use that that sort of, that little bit of a sad feeling from the A minor chord to really open up into the happy feelings of the G, C, and the D. So let's try that, okay? So now what I'm doing, what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna organize this song into two parts. We're gonna give it an A part, and a B part. The A part, is going to be the G and the C and the G and the C and we're gonna go ahead and this means we're gonna repeat it and the D part well, I, or I mean the B part what should we do with the B part hmm so here we go Still doing this, gonna repeat. Gotta think, how do I add that? That B part. Ooh, back to that C, that's nice. I like that. I got it now. Here's what I think we're going to do. I think we're going to go, I think we're going to go D and we're going to go C, D, C, and then we're going to go So let's try that. Let's try putting it all together and see how it sounds. All right? So here we are at the beginning. Remember, this is our melody. La, 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 la. Okay, here we go. That's what our A part and our B part sounds like. And Anna just asked about some waves. And the song reminds her, the song reminds you of the keys in Florida. That's cool. I'll take that. I like the keys. I like the Florida keys. What do you mean by waves? Now, this is really cool because what you mean by waves, I might not understand. Okay, maybe. So, what could, how could we add? Hi, Uwe, how you doing? How could we add waves, Anna? Can you help me out? Michael Fry, welcome to the show. What what could we use to add a wave? Hmm, I wonder. Ooh, wait, I got an idea. I got an idea. Hold on, hold on. Let me go in my magic, my magic instrument realm here. Let's see. Where's all the Where's all the good stuff here? We got a bunch of good stuff. We got a bunch of good stuff. Let me see. I think I've got an instrument that reminds me of a bit of a wave. Nope, not there. Not there. Where is, ah. Could that be a wave on her? 
Could that be a way? What do you think? Now, I think we could use that if I had a second hand. Um, I wonder if there's a way I could do. Hmm, how could I do this? I'm trying to figure out how to do this by myself on a... Waves aren't that fast, are they? You know, Anna, we're gonna try to do the waves maybe when Freddie gets back, but I like your idea. So, what I wanted to show you guys is how we can, how one way to write a song could be. In this case, we started with the melody, which is our la 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 la. And then we added some chords. Thank you so much, Melanie. Hey, Florian, how you doing? So here's what I want you to hopefully walk away from today, okay? I And I'm going to give you some homework. Yulia, Anna, whoever else is watching who might have some time on their hands and they want to try, I want you to see if you can write a song. And I'd love to hear it. And I won't share it if you don't want me to share it. If you just want me to hear it, that's fine too. But try writing a song. You don't need to have a xylophone, but it helps. That that melody came from my brain. You're swimming over here. Oh, that's so nice. I'm glad it made you think of swimming. That's a very interesting thing. Well, this is what I'm trying to tell you. The melody didn't come from an instrument. It came from my mind. La, 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 la. And then I had to figure it out. <laughs> then how do I play that on guitar? I go here. Okay, so that was our first step. We found a melody. We found a melody that we like. And then we figured out two chords that work with that melody. We kept it very simple. In this case, the chords were G major and C major. Okay, and then we tried to put them together. Now, I have a friend who just came online. His name is Florian Desvalle. Um I can't spell it, but you can click on his name and it'll take you to his site. He's a fantastic guitar player, and he would be able to play the melody, the chords, the bass line, the percussion, everything all at once, and probably play waves as well. But this is what you would do, or this is what I'm gonna to try to do to play the both. the melody on the guitar, I can just sing it. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. And our B part, so the song stays interesting. wrote this wrong. I'm sorry if I did that incorrectly. So that's your homework, guys. 
try to write a song. And if you want, Anna, um, I, might, I might try to make this song an ocean song now, since you made me think about waves. And when I have a second person for the waves, maybe that'll be what I use for the waves. And I want you to notice one other very interesting that happened with, especially with you, Yulia, and you, Anna. You guys, you know, I expected, when I said, what else could I add to the song, I expected you to say something like drums. I expected you to say something like singing or words. But Yulia, you said broom. And I had to think about, well, what does a broom mean? I don't have a broom sitting around here. So that became my broom sound. Okay, and Anna, you said waves, and I had to think about what could I, what could I use that sounds like waves. So, basically, if you're writing a song, what I want you to think about is what can you use to make the sounds that you want to make, like make the ideas that you have come to life. So that's our show for today. Um, I'm going to put this link in here for any of our newcomers who came to the show. Um, Freddie and I, we can't gig right now, so if you enjoyed what we do and want to help support us a little bit during this time, we've got a PayPal link. If you're just enjoying it and want to vibe with us, please, that's awesome too. Share it, tell friends, let them know what we're up to. We've got five more shows after today, um, and then we have to decide how we're going to go forward. I don't know if we're going to continue... Uh, or be able to continue to go six days a week like we have um, because we have to figure out a way to work. <laughs> but we're going to continue to do the show for sure. Um, and it would be really immensely helpful to us if you shared it and even gave us your ideas about what we can do to make it better. We'd love that. So I'm going to tell you what a couple of really smart people in my life told me. Um, and my wife always said it's nice to be nice. And my mother always said, if you want a friend, be a friend. So I want you guys to think about it as you go on and go forward. Um, we will... Um, oh, you made the waves with your mouth. That's so cool. Um, and Florian's going to use the broom stuff. That's awesome. So we're going to leave you with our goodbye song. And we're going to see you tomorrow. Um, German show, 4.30 Central European time. English show, 5 o'clock Central European time. 11 a.m. in the East Coast of the United States. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everybody who joined. Andrea, Florian, it was nice to see you here. Melanie, it was really great to see you here and so many cool... Hey, Lawrence, how you doing? Just coming to the end of the show. Um, Yulia, Casca, uh, it's always great to have you guys here. So thank you. We will see you tomorrow, I hope. And here we go. Goodbye, goodbye. I'll see you next time. Let's see. Oh, Yuli, I can't wait to see you tomorrow either. Anna, I will certainly say hello to Freddy. And I will absolutely tell him you sent him a big old kiss. No problem. You guys are wonderful. Nope, not that note. <laughs> All right. Guys, you're the best. Thanks, my friend.